here. This is Plymouth, Massachusetts, and I, I don't know, but it just it seems to me uh, that Massachusetts, especially the Boston area, probably gets some of the worst weather in this country. They're seeing winds right now, 60 to 65 miles per hour, right, and that shot. Uh, the wind is blowing the snow sideways. They're also very worried about beach erosion, where it's currently high tide. They've already picked up almost a foot of snow, and it is still snowing. In fact, take a look at Doppler, and we'll show you exactly where that snow is. Now, they're already starting to put out apologies. The National Weather Service in the New York City area is saying, not going to be as bad as we first thought. They're still going to pick up anywhere from 12 to 18 inches of snow. They already have about 7 to 8 in Central Park. The bullseye, and as we expected yesterday, right around Boston, there's Nantucket just getting pounded by this, and it will continue throughout the day today. But you can see New York City and Philly right on the edge of that, but they're still getting plenty of snow. They're not going to break a record. Uh, it's not going to be the worst of all time, but they're still getting a lot of snow. Back here at home, our snow has ended. Uh, maybe just a few lingering flurries this morning. We'll wake up to clouds, but gradually seeing more sunshine throughout the day. How about some snow totals uh, here at the airport in Milwaukee? Just under an inch of snow. Beaver Dam in Dodge County picked up two. West Bend at one. I had about an inch of snow in my driveway in Grafton. And Fond du Lac gets the Golden Shovel Award at three inches of fluffy light snow. Three inches of snow compared to almost two and a half feet of snow toward Boston by the time this is all said and done. It's not that bad. Port Washington picked up about an inch of snow yesterday and last night. 28 degrees of the light northeasterly wind. Temperatures are in the 20s all across the area. The winds are light out of the northeast at around 5 to 10, so not much in the way of additional wind chill this morning. For the next 36 hours, a high today of 31 degrees with gradual clearing, a light northeast wind, patchy fog in 18 tonight and 35 for tomorrow. So here's the forecast. We have this little disturbance pushing on through that brought us the light snow. We'll gradually see some clearing today. The winds pick up tomorrow and we'll gradually see a warming trend as well, getting into the mid 30s before gusty winds and a little bit of sleet and snow move in here for Thursday. Could see about an inch of accumulation on Thursday. Here's your seven day forecast. 31 and clearing later today. 35 and breezy tomorrow. 35 windy with some snow and sleet on Thursday. It'll be 23, a little bit cooler behind that cold front by Friday. Then as we get to Saturday, some light snow late in the day and 28 degrees. And on Sunday, some light snow and 26. We could pick up anywhere from 2 to 3 inches of snow. But remember, that is very preliminary, so stay tuned. Then it gets cold behind that front. Temperatures in the teens for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.